I, uh, so, I watched Kick-Ass 2 today. Oh, wow. Kick-Ass is one of my favourite films, um, amongst others, which I probably won't mention in this video, because this one's about Kick-Ass 2, and I'd just like to point out how fucking awesome it is. Oh, by the way, I'm talking quietly because I filmed this late, because I'm totally useless and I didn't film anything throughout the day. Ha ha ha! Anyway, Kick-Ass 2, I'm not gonna... I can't say much because a lot of people haven't seen it and it's still in the cinema and so spoilers. Um, regardless of that, I can tell you some things that I enjoyed quite a lot about it. Um, it's a lot darker, by the way, than Kick-Ass. And every five minutes you're questioning, is this a parody of the superhero genre? Or is it Pink series? You can never tell. It's so weird. Um... There's a lot more focus. This is basically, um, shut up. I don't know who that was. I probably, yeah. Anyway, there's a lot more focus on Hit Girl because it's primarily the Kick Ass 2 comic had a prelude about Hit Girl and it's all basically about how Hit Girl tries to adjust to being a normal teenage girl and obviously that doesn't work because she's Hit Girl and Kick Ass sort of becomes this second main character in this film there isn't that much focus on him and his motivation um, but there are certain plot points which heavily surround him um, I'd also like to point out that um, the motherfucker <laughs> Chris D'Amico played by Christopher Mintz Plass I'm surprised he held it out as a villain on his own, he was pretty damn good um, the writing is controversial in some areas. There were some um, parts of the story, and if you've seen it, you'll probably know what I'm talking, which were, which took things a bit too far. Um, but apart from that, you know, the ultra-violence and the use of irony and ironic humour um, were brilliant. It was funny. I laughed out loud quite a lot. Um, lots of blood, lots of action, great storyline. Awesome music, some quite good acting, a lack of Jim Carrey, which was a bit weird. I was expecting more of him considering how much he's um, featured in all the promos. Um, I'm thinking this might have surpassed Kick-Ass in terms of um, quality. It might be better than Kick-Ass. Sequels are never... You, sequels can sometimes be better. This one probably was. Um, I think there's going to be a Kick-Ass 3, I'm not sure. But hopefully there will, because usually in superhero films you have the opening where you get introduced to the character and how they become the superhero that they are, and they have their first victory. And the second one is more about, I'm giving up now. Um, I've been through a lot of shit, um, and if I carry on, it'll have bad consequences. And then the third one is usually that return and the final victory. So hopefully that's what we're going to get. So Kick-Ass 2 was awesome. And that was basically my day. Apart from getting on many buses and seeing my granny. And at the moment, I'm looking like Tobey Maguire from Spider-Man 3. Flat hair and no glasses. It's really weird. Just had a shower at 10 o'clock at night. I don't know what's going on anymore. What? Emo Peter Parker. <laughs> bye, bye, bye.